Yo, what up guys, Surreal303, figured I would hit a video of the 210 real quick, and I might as well turn these lights on, there we go, alright, um, I figured I would just do a quick overview of this tank, uh, since I only got a short clip of it the other day, now, like I said, it's a 210. Um, I'm going to put some different lights on it. These are just some lights that I had. Some 48-inch uh, current uh, Orbit Marine LEDs. Um, I'm going to either add another 4-footer like that and just kind of double stack them. Or maybe get 2-3 foot and put this on another tank. Or I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I just threw these lights on it for now. Um, the setup... I used, uh, actually all this substrate is out of one of my other tanks, um, just because it had a, you know, a bacteria colony, so I took all this substrate and I took the, uh, Cascade 1500 canister, and the reason I have this sitting outside of the cabinet right now is because this was on that 75 gallon, which is a lot shorter, so the hoses are only, you know, yay long, but I will... Um, move that into the cabinet It's just sitting on top of a little trash can holding it up there now, but So I had that cascade 1500 it was already cycled, you know tons of bacteria in it And then I put this this is a brand new um, This is a uh, aqua top CF 500 UV Which I run two of these actually over here on the 120 um I have two CF500s over on this tank, but uh, anyways, you can see it's pretty clear. They're holding up just fine as far as keeping the tank clean, um, but yeah, like I said, right now there's just some current uh, Orbit Marine LED four foot, and then the Cascade 1500 canister and the Aquatop CF500. Uh, I just moved another fish in here, but I'll get in here and show you some of these fish. Obviously, like I said, the Giardini, he's getting very big now. Uh, the Fest Day, I ended up finally getting rid of my other Fest Day a couple weeks ago. And uh, I've still kept that guy. I've got these two pike cichlids in here. These are uh, Venezuelan pikes. And then I've got the butt of Kofari back there. And over here, the ornate biker is right there. He's pretty big. I've had this guy for a while now. Um, you can see the Dovi in his box of shame. I'm probably just going to end up selling this guy. I don't want to release him. He's too cheap. You know, I love Dovi, but they're a dime a dozen. And uh, I'm not going to let him destroy some of the other stuff that's in here if he comes out swinging like he did in the old tank. Um, and then today, I just moved this guy in here, um, the bowfin. He kind of dinged his nose up when I was getting him out of the other tank, but... There he is. Um, obviously, the Giardini is the biggest fish in the tank. He's about a foot, maybe a little over. And then, you know, all the rest, of, they're all pretty close as far as the rest of them go. The Bowfin's pretty big, the Pike Cichlids, the Biker, I mean, all of them, the Feste, the Buddy. The Dovi's big, too. He's just super mean, so... This guy, though, he's starting to show a whole lot of gold. He's definitely got a little bit of Asian in him. He's 
these pike cichlids. The uh, Venezuelan species are actually the biggest of the pike. So this tank, pretty much everything in here, aside from the Feste, the Festes get pretty big, but not Goliath size like a lot of this stuff gets. The Buttercophori, those pikes, the Bofin, and the Giardini. Those will all be like super monsters. Obviously, anybody who knows anything about those guys, if you don't, you will gradually see. But anyways, that's what's going on in there. I guess I can cut these back out. I'm sure it'll evolve as time goes on. Who knows what kind of aggression I'll run into or what's going to happen, but probably end up changing this lighting, like I said, or at least adding to it, and uh, that fish lineup will probably change in the far future. I've got that uh, sturgeon now, but he'll go into the 120. I'm hoping I got another peacock bass. He seemed bigger in the store. You can see him hiding up there behind the filter tube up here by the heater. He's a decent size, but that's why I took the bowfin out of here. The bowfin was too big, and the azul right here didn't seem that much larger, but he is substantially larger, so I don't know. Hopefully nothing happens to uh, that new peacock bass up there, but we'll see. I'm going to try to keep everybody well fed, so hopefully they'll leave them alone. But, uh, anyways, Surreal 303, 210, I'm out.